I discovered I was always searching for something. <clears throat> so I would send away for little books, what's the nature of man? What is the universe? How, what's the meaning of life? Why are we in the, you know, things like that. I was always, always looking into that. And eventually, you know, I would follow this um, Hindu guy, and then I would follow another one, and I would follow a Jewish Orthodox guy. I followed him out to California to the House of Love and Prayer. You know, I did all kinds, you know, Shlomo Karlbach, yeah. I followed a lot of people, and, um, you know, it was a journey. And eventually I realized it's, you know, it's in here. And I reached a point where I could be my own guide. Mm -hmm. And um, that's what happened. And the spirituality is just, I think it just comes from working from your heart and being pure and not uh, letting that outside um, mess with you. And you then, you know, the work you do then reflects that. Uh, you know, with, with wisdom, you have to have wisdom too and see. What you, it's just a, like, ah, that's a, be analyzed, you know, redone and thought about. But if you work like that for long enough, I think you come to a point where the work will translate to other people too. And so I can't tell you how many people, when they're sick or when they need some kind of solace, will look at my work and feel good, which makes me feel good that it does that. And then Mount Sinai asked me to do, I think, 27 paintings for them, for their, um, uh, what do you call that, intensive care, expensive rooms in the new tower. Mm -hmm. I did that. Mm -hmm. I'm in the um, lobby of the Evelyn Lauder Breast Center in New York. Um, I'm in the um, Sloan Kettering all over the place. So there's something that links some kind of a spiritual thing in my work to other people, and that's the kind of a communication I feel exists.